Let's talk about identity trading and FOMO. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm your beautiful host, Young Buffett, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about something that might get a little political, but I'll try to tiptoe around this conversation and try not to trigger anyone. So at the end of the day, we can either make a lot of money or lose a lot of money. That's the motto here. Money is all we really care about, which by the way, if that's all you care about too, go ahead and scroll down and hit that subscribe button for me so you never miss a thing. Okay, so before we talk about identity trading, politics, politics, SPACs, crazy gains, and how DWAC shot up like 500% today. Let's give some context first. Politics aside, love him or hate him, Trump's making a social media platform and they announced a SPAC merger today. So Trump created a social media company called Trump Media and Technology Company and they announced their SPAC today with DWAC. And if you don't know, a SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company. It's pretty much a company that merges with another company to bring them uh, to the stock market and raise some funds and stuff. But if you haven't heard, Trump was pretty much canceled by everyone and everything. Uh, they were silenced completely from every social media platform like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, etc. So like what any rich guy would do if you try to silence him, he decided to make his own social media platform. He's calling it Truth Social. He wants to build a non-cancelable global community that will disrupt and take down giant tech companies that are out to get everybody. But he said he's creating Truth Social and TMGT to stand up to the tyranny of big tech. Trump said in a press release that he sent to the media, we live in a world where the Taliban has a presence on Twitter, yet your favorite American president has been silenced. Well, it's it's kind of true. <laughs> Love him or hate him. It's kind of weird how the Taliban straight up has a Twitter, Instagram, and even TikTok accounts. But anyways... There's a site for Truth Social where people can join a waiting list for social network and uh, they can also pre-order the app and stuff for when it's ready, they can download it. But uh, we saw screenshots of the app and it looks like Truth Social will have um, like profile pages like Twitter and like a timeline and stuff. It's pretty much like every other social media page, um, probably just pretty much like Twitter. But they have a company overview presentation and they aspire to create a social media powerhouse to rival liberal media and fight back against big tech. They wanna swing the political pendulum back to level playing field. They say that it's too far left and they want it to come back towards the middle, but in reality, what it's kinda of gonna do is create just a, a very right side social media platform and then the left side will still be there, which I guess would balance the playing field but it might just cause more separation. I'm not sure. But anyways, it continues to say that uh, tech monopolies censor and threaten free speech. So they created TMTG and apparently all are welcome as illustrated by this cute tent image. Uh, they ran a survey. According to that survey, 30% said yes, that they would join a social media page or platform that is backed by Donald Trump. 16% uh, said no and 54% said Maybe. They then flex Trump's following count on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram against Biden's. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny to look at that. But anyways, what's super interesting and could actually make a ton of money is TMTG+. Plus. So they're creating an on-demand streaming service that will provide news, entertainment, documentaries, sports programming, and more. Uh, they say that Americans are seeking non-woke entertainment solutions. So what does all of this mean for us? Well, I, I have no idea, but let's take a look at DWAC and DWACU. So the U is for warrants and the, the ticker without the U is without warrants, but they started trading today around $10 a share. And as the news started to circulate about what this is, people started to catch on, a little bit of Wall Street bets action started to pile in and the news started circulating and digesting and people started buying and buying. But what's super interesting here is the identity trading behind it all. Sure, you've got some meme ability here. I mean, anything Donald Trump does is gonna turn into a meme eventually, but you have a big name behind the stock 
Sure, you can also sprinkle in a little bit of FOMO rushing into the stock because at one point it was skyrocketing to from $10 a share to 20. That's a, a lot. Then from 20 to 40, that's crazy. Then from 40 to 60, that's even crazier. All to happen in one day is very, very rare. So you do have that level of FOMO and all the people talking about it, but there actually might be something more interesting here that is called identity trading. It's a phenomenon where you build a portfolio based on your personal beliefs or goals or what you're passionate about. For example, somebody who's vegan is most likely going to start investing in stocks that are vegan friendly, like for example, Beyond Meat or Tattooed Chef. But it's very similar to being an activist investor. When you really believe in something and you want to make a difference, you invest in those companies that you align with, the companies that align with your personal, religious, or even behavioral beliefs, the things that you do day to day. But with this DWAC SPAC and Truth Social, Trump's social media, it's actually tapping into more and more conservative investors who align themselves financially and politically, and they invest in this new social media company led by Mr. Trump himself. So regardless of if you'd use this social media yourself, you just align yourself with the person behind it and the message that it's portraying sprinkled in with crazy stock market gains. It only makes sense to invest in something like that for you. but. It's super interesting to see how the retail market is putting their money where their beliefs are. So I'm actually going to be watching the stock and watching how it moves. It's not every day you see a stock or especially a SPAC that comes out and skyrockets like 500% in one day. And it wasn't triggered by any short interest. It wasn't triggered by any nefarious trading or anything sketchy. It's literally just a bunch of people who are really hyped about this thing. And they're just throwing money at it left and right. So by afternoon trading, just to show you guys how how much volume was going into this, more than 360 million shares of DWAC had already changed hands. According to FactSet, there's it was the most traded stock on the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ listings. Again, love him or hate him, this is something really, really interesting that's happening. Not trying to make it political, it's just it is what it is. And at the end of the day, with a lot of hype and momentum, it might lead to continued gains. It is currently ripping in the aftermarket as the news starts to circulate. You'll start to see headlines start popping up. More and more people are gonna see the insane run that it had today. So this is just the beginning. It could very much crash and burn, or it could just continue to keep going up. But none of this is financial advice or a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just keep an eye out on it. Watch how it moves. These are all learning lessons in the market for the next time something like this happens in history, for the next time a stock comes out or a SPAC comes out with a big person behind it. Just watch how it moves and learn from how it moves. With that, I love you. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.